Hey everybody, welcome to the second episode of Quarantine Cocktails with Zach Wilkes. I'm Zach Wilkes, and we're here to make some awesome rum cocktails today. But the first thing I wanna do is I wanna thank you guys. Uh, the last 24 hours has been awesome. We're pushing 4,000 views on all of our social media feeds for these videos. Keep sharing them. The more it gets out there, the more money that we can raise. We've raised almost $1,000 right now, and a significant portion of that money is going directly to the United States Bartenders Guild National Charity Fund, uh, which is helping bartenders and hospitality uh, professionals support themselves in this time of uncertainty. Uh, so let's get to the cocktail. Uh, we are playing with rum today, and I'm lucky enough to have one of my favorite spirits brands, period, on hand to play with, Plantation. I really want to thank the guys from Maison Ferran, uh, Guillaume Lamy, uh, Victor Bouvier for supplying this stuff and supporting us financially. Um, they were a big part of helping us raise some of those funds to, to help out bartenders. Uh, so we are making a classic daiquiri today. It's a bartender favorite. It's only three ingredients. It's absolutely delicious. And we're gonna walk through it step by step here. Um, you will always see the recipes posted in the notes of the, the, um, of the post. So definitely keep that in mind. Uh, and this one's a really good one to start off with. Like I said, it's super simple. Um, the traditional recipe calls for white rum and Plantation Three Star is a great white rum to use. Uh, any white rum's gonna do, and actually in this recipe, you can substitute out a lot of different rums as well, which is what we're gonna do today because Plantation also makes this delicious pineapple rum. And this is one of my favorite things on the planet. Uh, this rum is a collaboration uh, between one of the utmost cocktail historians um, in the world, and a bunch of great tiki bartenders. And basically they have recreated a rum that was very popular with English dignitaries in the 1800s. And it's really delicious. They take two different rums and they infuse them with Queen Victoria pineapples. So in the original dark, they put all of the fruit part of the pineapples. And then in the Plantation Three Star, they put all the pineapple bark, so the pineapple skins and then they distill those separately and blend them together at the end, which gives you this awesome pineapple flavored rum. Uh, the thing I like about it is a lot of people think that flavored things are sweet and syrupy. This isn't, this just has the true essence of pineapple and it's gonna make this drink awesome. Uh, so we're gonna start off with two ounces of this. And then we are going to use three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. Simple syrup is one of those things a lot of home bartenders or a lot of people that don't make cocktails at home will ask me how to make. It's simple syrup because it's simple to make. You just take equal parts of water and sugar, put a little pan on the top of your stove and heat that up until the sugar dissolves. It should only take a couple of minutes. Um, just do like a cup of sugar and a cup of water and that's a great way to make it. And then this also count calls for a full ounce of fresh squeezed lime. Um, I've got this hand juicer. You can juice it by hand if you want. I think a good rule of thumb is a full lime is about the juice or is about, a full lime equals about an ounce of juice. So we're gonna measure it out here and see exactly where we're at. I'm gonna measure it right into my jigger. Let's see how much juice we get out of this one. I am at a full ounce, just out of a half a lime, so that works out pretty good. We have already filled our shaker uh, with some ice, so that's ready to go. We're gonna put those together. I give it a little tap to seal it so it doesn't fall apart and you're wearing daiquiri all over your shelf and you just wanna shake it for about a good 20 seconds. Give it a little smack to release it. Um, I've got these really nice coupe glasses. Any up glass will work. If you have a martini glass, great. If you have a coupe glass, great. If you don't have any kind of fancy glassware, pour it in your favorite glass, it's still gonna taste delicious. We're gonna use our strainer. Strain it right into the glass. 
And then I like a really simple garnish on this one just with a lime wheel. There you go. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much for joining us once again. As always, links are in the post about how to tip me, and we will be passing those tips back on to the United States Bartenders Guild. Also, directly after this, we've got a special guest from Maison Ferran. We have Victor Bouvier, who is uh, their, their uh, North American brand ambassador. I'm not sure exactly what his title is, but we'll ask him in a Zoom. Feel free to hop on there. We'll be talking rum, gin, cognac, cocktails, life. Um, we'll see you in a few minutes. Cheers. We'll see you in a, a, a day or two for another great video.